a new threat from the Islamic State group. In a video posted on militant websites connected to the extremist group, a masked militant threatens to kill two Japanese men unless the group receives $200 million in 72 hours. The captives, identified as Kenji Goto and Haruna Yukawa, the video mirroring past hostage threats made by the group. And the ransom, the same amount of money Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe recently pledged toward combating IS militants and aiding Iraqi and Syrian refugees. Abe currently wrapping up a trip to the Middle East, saying it's his top priority to free the men, speaking during a press conference with Palestinian Prime Minister Mahmoud Abbas. IS released footage threatening to kill Japanese citizens. This is an unforgivable terrorist act, and Japanese citizens are feeling strong resentment over it. Abbas offered his help in freeing the hostages. The Japanese prime minister met with both Palestinian and Israeli leaders during his trip. Abe saying the Israeli government is also offering its support, sharing information on the hostage crisis. And he's sending a top Japanese foreign minister to seek Jordan's help as well. This is the first time IS militants have publicly demanded cash in a hostage video. Experts say the demands made in the video are connected to Abe's trip to the region. The timing and uh, the sum of money requested uh, for the return of these Japanese hostages uh, is a clear response to Prime Minister Abe's uh, recent travels through, through the Middle East uh, and especially to his, um, his pledge of $200 million to states that are combating IS. Uh, the so Mideast analyst says that in the past seven years, IS militants have made at least $140 million from ransom payments. Japanese officials have declined to discuss whether they will pay the ransom. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.